What's up guys, welcome to the channel. I just wanted to do a quick little video here. Like many of you, I saw a video with everyone's favorite Swede uh. testing out one of these PV Viper amplifiers. So I went on an eBay binge to try to find one and uh, I found one here and this is actually the 60 watt tube variant of the Viper VIP2. I don't really know a whole lot about this amp, but when I was looking, there was one thing that really caught my attention. So I knew I had to have one, so I bought this thing and I am plugging it in to check it out for the first time and to test it out. And I thought to myself, hey, I have subscribers and they'd probably like to see that. So that's what I'm doing today. I will be making a full formal review with this amplifier. So if there's anything specifically that you'd like to see, let me know down in the comments. So I'm gonna shut up now and start playing guitar. Okay, so these are tubes, so I probably need to let this warm up here for a second. Hey, while we're waiting, it's a perfect opportunity for me to mention, have you checked out my merch? There's a link for that in the description. You should go check it out, buy a shirt. Okay. Turn it on. Hey, it works. So that's the triple X mode. And you can see down here, there's banks and presets and stuff like that. I'm not gonna be messing with any of that. I just wanna kinda of tone quest with this amp a little bit and play around with it. And I'm kinda of taking you guys on that journey here. Those of you who have watched my channel for a while know that I got rid of a triple X when I was really poor and it's something that I regret to this day. And I'm always on the lookout for a triple X amplifier. That was such a long time ago. It's hard to tell off my memory how much that sounds like a triple X, but let's go with something. Uh, let's try this 6505 here and see what that sounds like. Yeah, that actually sounds a lot like a 5150. The only really big obvious difference that I'm noticing right away, and that's probably because this thing is sitting at my ear level and it's only a one by 12, but it definitely does not have like the low end and the punchiness of a head in a four by 12 cabinet, which why would it? It's a one by 12 cabinet. That was kind of a dumb thing to say. But anyways, I'm just trying to tell you guys what I'm observing right now. When I do my full review on it, we will do a lot of comparison stuff with this. So I will get a lot more in depth as far as powering a four x 12 cabinet with it. And we'll do some comparisons with some impulse responses and stuff like that. But uh, let's keep dialing. This is a lot of fun. Okay, we have a recto here. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> Holy shit, that sounds cool. All right, another one of these models that was very interesting to me, the Krankenstein. Yeah, that sounds fucking awesome. It came with a CD-ROM manual, but uh, none of my computers have CD-ROMs anymore, so I'm gonna have to find a, ooh. It comes with an evaluation version of Reaper, too. That's funny. Hopefully they have a copy of this you can download on their website because I don't have a CD-ROM. Kinda cool that it came with it, though, you know? Uh, let's try out maybe one more of these guys here. Yeah, let's try this diesel model. I'm using a diesel patch in my Axe FX3 right now, so it's something that's like a little bit more fresh in my memory and um, sounds pretty good, man. <laughs> Let's check out some of the onboard effects. Not that I'm particularly interested in them, but you might be. Slapback delay, that's cool. Let's try that. Hmm, not really liking that. Oh, there's a looper. I can't select it though. You must need the pedal plugged in to select that. It did come with a pedal actually. So that's pretty cool, I'll have to check that out later. Uh, whatever, let's go with the reverse delay. Okay, the effects sound pretty good, but since I don't have the manual in front of me, it's kind of hard to tell what these different knobs are adjusting, so it's kind of like guessing, you know? Anyways, um, fuck dude, I'm gonna do one more amp real quick. Let's do a, let's do a classic here. <laughs> Yeah, I think so far the PV models are where it's really shining, which is not a surprise, it's PV. If they can't emulate their own amps, then this is kind of a bust, right? Okay guys, I'm gonna wrap this up. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments below if there's anything specifically you would like to see with this amplifier when I make the formal review and demo. And also just go down there and say what's up. You could literally just go down there and comment hi and it would make my day that much better. Special thanks to all of my awesome patrons for helping me bring you videos like this one. And if you're interested in joining my Patreon, there's a link for that in the description below. A lot of links in the description below. And as always, if you like this video, make sure to hit the like button, consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.